What's up YouTube? Matthew here once again with another video for you all. And today I'm outside again and we'll be talking about how to buy a car in your 20s, whether you're buying brand new or a used vehicle. So these tips will help you tremendously when you're negotiating your deal or picking your vehicle. Now, before we go on, be sure to subscribe down below for more uh, videos about finance and business um, and different things like that. I mostly make videos about um, making the e-commerce business and learning how to market on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and different things like that. Um, drop shipping, print on demand, e-commerce, things like that. So be sure to subscribe to learn more about different finance and e-commerce videos and uh, comment down below, like this video um, and comment if you think it's good, if it's bad, any suggestions for me that you have. Now, today I'm gonna tell you three tips to buying a car. So recently I purchased a brand new vehicle, which you know, I praise God for, uh, give me the opportunity to do and I made a few mistakes, but I I didn't make a few mistakes You know, I learned about uh, the car buying process and I made some good and some bad decisions Within doing it and in today's videos. I'm going to try to avoid all the the, the downs for you all so you can get all the ups on your side if that makes sense now the number one tip I would say to well the first tip is to uh, do your own research. That goes into number one, research what kind of car you want. When I was looking at which car I wanted, I, I brought it down to around three cars, then two, then I finally decided on one. So just make sure you do your research online, um, what kind of fuel economy, what kind of color, what kind of models, Toyota, Ford, Chevrolet, whatever, you know, make sure you know the type of car that you want and look at the ratings, how the different problems people are having and things like that. Uh, so make sure you research about like the car itself and then going more into the first tip of research, research the price of the car. How much are people buying the car for? How much people are selling the car for? How much uh, would you pay if you bought it off of Craigslist, through a private seller, through the dealership? and things like that and you know research through like Kelly Blue Book, Edmonds and you have to remember these sites just give you the average price paid for the car without the taxes so even though on Kelly Blue Book it may say $15,000 you got to add on a uh, $1,500 to two, two grand more for taxes um, and other fees docking fees and things like that um, and so make sure you research the 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 cost and the average price paid and always try to get the best deal and to negotiate lower for that you know saying hey I researched this I know this I want this out of door price you know out of door meaning this includes the taxes and all the other fees included uh, okay so and research the car that goes more into also uh, test driving it. So if you found a good car you want, test drive it before you make any decisions. Just go to a dealership, have the car, and then just test drive it. Don't make a decision the first time, just test drive it. Do you like the feel? How are the panels, the reach of everything with your hand length and different things like that, your arm length and whatnot. And so uh, make sure you do that. Now, the number two tip is to uh, get pre-approved for a loan before you go in. Now, th that's if you want to um, get a loan buying a car. I mean, of course, it will be better that you buy a car cash, save your money. However, people are not gonna do that. <laughs> and so make sure you get pre-approved for a car loan and not rely on the loan provided by the dealership, okay? That means, you know, talking with your bank, whether you have a big bank, and talking to credit unions around your area, even if you don't have an account with them, to say, hey, I need a good auto loan. Usually they work with you, they want your business, especially credit unions, and they give you an extremely low rate um, for that. And that was a mistake I made. I didn't do enough uh, pre-approving for loans. Because, um, and I, we'll get into that later, the mistakes that I made. Um, but yeah, get pre-approved for a loan before you go in. Be like, hey, you know, this credit union is offering me this percent APR. Um, how can you match this? Can you get me a lower rate? Stuff like that. You know, it puts them on their toes to make sure they give you a good rate. And, and then number three um, goes into 
um, after you test drove the car and you got pre got a pre approved for a loan, call up dealerships around your area, like a hundred mile radius. What I did, I test drove my car. I didn't buy it that day. And then I just called up all these different dealerships that had the same vehicle. And I negotiated the price over the phone. I didn't even go inside the dealership because I knew the car I liked. I knew how it felt already. You know, it's a brand new car. And I just talked with a bunch of dealerships. Hey, I want this out of door price. Can you get me this? Okay, move on. And a lot of times, all these dealerships always call me back you know hey you know okay at first we couldn't go that low but now we we can we can take off another 500 another a thousand off so you know you have to be patient with them too you have to be patient with yourself don't buy on impulse um, and that was kind of a mistake I made later down the road um, but you know, make sure you just negotiate. You can negotiate over the phone with prices and people will call you back. Even if you guys say, don't agree, these dealerships will call you back with a better deal. You know, e either for another car or um, for a lower amount. And you know, you just stick true to your guns, but you have to make sure that you're, you're negotiating too. You know, you can't just have the dealership, you know, going low. You have to go up a little bit too, but not as much as they're going low. And really research the uh, the price of the car. Don't extremely lowball them too, but at the same time, make sure you just get a good out of door price. Now, what mistakes did I make? Uh, the mistakes I made was, you know, you know, praise God, I was I was able to afford it to get it cash. However, I ended up getting a loan with the dealership. I don't know why, and it was extremely high rate. And the dealership was just saying, oh, you never got a car before for a loan. This is this much and this much. And, you know, I think I was just pressured because I knew I was going to pay it off with this year. So I didn't care about the APR. But thinking about it, you know, I should have, first of all, went to my different credit unions, got pre-approved with uh, my my bank and stuff like that. And, and now, um, you know, I'm always thinking about it. So as soon as, you know, my account opens up, I'm just going to pay it all off. Um, you know, pay off the car loan and uh, pay off the principal of the car so I won't get charged any interest. Uh, I mean, I may have a few days worth of interest, but it won't be much. And so uh, I'll do that uh, for sure. Uh, and so that was a mistake I made. The pros I made was I did the research on my car beforehand. I knew the right price and I got it extremely well done you know, good deal for a brand new 2018 vehicle. Um, and I negotiated over the phone with dealerships around my area using cargurus.com is really good. You know, just call them up, call them up. And I got extremely well deals, you know, um, around me. Um, and so I finally decided on one good deal out of door price and I whenever I negotiated I always talked about the out of door prices so taxes included everything included out of door price you know make sure you get that down pack out of door price because they're going you may agree upon a, a price and then when you go to a dealership they're like hey but we got to charge you tax make sure you say out of door price you know taxes included so those are some tips that I know you all can um, use, especially if you're young or if you're in your 20s, you haven't done this before. It's just three simple steps. Research it, okay? Get pre-approved for a loan and, you know, and negotiate a good deal, okay? Ne negotiate a good deal and uh, always don't, uh, be patient, don't buy an impulse. Always, it's always okay to walk away from a deal. If you're in the financing room, you know, and you're about to sign the papers, if the APR is just not good enough, just walk off. You can do that. All right, I hope you all enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment down below. All right, peace.